All right, full day number two on Lake of the Woods. We were gonna be doing some underwater camera today. And with the snow cover that we have, it is super dark, even with the light on. It's scaring fish away and you can't even see them down there. And so we're gonna try different glow jigs, spoons, lures. So what we're gonna start with is this guy here. I'll link it down in the description as well as put on the screen here what it's called, but it is a jigging spoon. Uh, we've got our treble hook on the bottom, of course, and then it does have a rattle inside of it. And then it's got like a column in the middle where you can put an actual glow stick. I'm gonna light this up with a minnow head on it. And we're gonna see how many walleye we can get into and hopefully some bonus fish. For my set line right now, it's this white with pink gold on the back. And the theme of glow, it does glow. We've got a fish. We do. All right. That's a nice size fish, dude. Woo-wee! Our glow hook did the trick. 15 and three quarter inches. All right, she's going in the live well for a catch and cook later. hooked up like almost instantaneously on the drop this is a bigger fish too it feels like oh this is a nice rod too i haven't used this rod yet this trip this is the power precision from tuned up custom rods oh yeah oh yeah This is awesome. You can see it on the live scope. She doesn't want to come up. This is definitely a bigger fish. Could be an eel pout or a walleye or a world record sauger. Saugers don't usually get that big. I haven't learned the feel of this rod yet, so I don't know if it's a, uh, you know, a 23 inch fish or if it's a 28 inch fish. And I, every fish fights a little different, but what I can tell you is the minnow head with this glow jig is working. Second in a row, just caught that sauger, 15 and what was that three quarter? And now a nice walleye. Look at this walleye. Its mouth is like ripped apart. I won't show that, but this lucky jig. Look at this fish. Oh. See the measure on it. This could be big, my biggest walleye. My current PB is a 28. Oh yeah. This is a 29, I think. Woo! Look at this beast. 29 inch on glow. Nailing them. Woo! All right, let's let her go. Let's let her go. All right, we'll see you later, girl. Woo, PB walleye. Yes. 29 incher this is the guy i said i was going to use today uh it's the same one same everything uh, off a minnow head you believe that a minnow head on this this rod did work most rods on much smaller fish like you can feel the holy crap i got something down there this rod handled it wonderfully the reel this is the 34 inch power precision from tuned up custom rod this is my new pb walleye setup Daiwa QZ750 reel, 
This is the Clam uh, Floral Ice Line. This, I think this is six pound line, and then this. Like, it just goes to show, get out of your comfort zone. Don't always stick with your confidence baits. It's okay to switch it up because you never know what you can get into. That hit it on the drop, reeled her in. Its mouth, you could tell, was a little screwed up. It must have gotten bit or a big jig or something ripped through it. But just on this little guy, heavy duty little sucker, was able to reel it in. It goes to show the knots, everything worked out perfectly. So I'm super jacked right now. I gotta check and see what's going on with my other line right now. But dude, I'm stoked. New PB walleye on a day that I'm going for glow stuff and just trying some new things. Oh, we're hooked up. We're hooked up. We're hooked up on the dead stick now. And it's not a small fish either. We're at 2.30. I literally just went over to check this rod. Oh, I think I lost it. I just lost it. Dang. All right, let's get this glowing up and back down there. All right, dropping back down there with both rods. I'm gonna get this guy down there first because she drops fast. Well, we got a fish down there already. Let's see if we can jig him in and then get our set line down. Here we go. Oh. Come on. I think it's I think it took it. Nope. We could jig it. What's going over the set line now? It's going over to the set line. Got a shiner on the set line. Nada, swimming through. Here we go. Hooked up. Do you see that coming through there? It's a decent fish. Not massive, it's not pulling drag. A few head shakes. Probably a good size sauger or walleye. Again, not massive. Gotta be close. Ooh, a little bit of a pull. Okay. 20 something maybe. Look this rod doing work again. Oh, another good size walleye. That same jig, you see it right there, that same jig. Pretty fish, I'll tell you that much, it is pretty. Let's get a measure on her. She'll probably go back if she's over 19 and a half. Calm down, girl. Woo, that's an eater, I think she's 18 inches. Not quite, just under, ah! Yep, she just touches 18. Nice, that's an eater. Slot here is 19 and a half to 28. You gotta put everything back. So she's a nice eater. So I'm good for keeping fish. I got three fish in the live well. I've got two sauger, kind of in that uh, 15 to 16 inch range. And then I've got that one right there, 18 inch walleye. Missed it. 
wonder if it'll turn around. It's gonna hit. All right, it took that. That's a little bit bigger fish too. There we go, I got a hook set in it too. All right. A little better. <laughs> this is another nice walleye. Another nice walleye. Glow spoon with the shiner. And the hook just popped right out. Look at that. I got lucky. That's why you gotta keep that rod tension up. This guy's got a little bit of a wound there on that side, but look at that fish. Nice. This is probably a good uh, 22 or 22 or 23. Let's get a quick measure and we'll let her go. We're done keeping, so it doesn't even matter really. But, uh, get a quick look at her here. Boom, 22-er. 22 22-inch 22 walleye, baby. Nice, all right, we'll get her back down there. All right, girl. Go grow up, I wanna catch you when you're 30. See ya. Woo, glow, baby. Lake of the Woods glow, middle of the day too. You know what's funny, you talk to the resorts up here, day houses are usually shallow and then they put you out deep for the evening bite. But man, I've probably spent a few days up here this year. In the middle of the day, it's crazy. It's three o'clock right now and I'm just hitting like crazy. So we're gonna, again, this is the guy with that minnow. We're gonna get it back down there. We gotta glow it up again, that's what's doing the trick. And that fish actually came and bumped my jigging rod and I was trying to jig it back and it saw this and took off for it. Hopefully you saw that on the live scope that I could put on the screen there, but fun, man. This is fun. It's just on fire. It's hard to, there's a couple things I want to get done here, but it's like when the bite is like this, you just got to pay attention and go because there'll be hours at a time where it's super dead and slow and you're catching some tiny little sauger and you just gotta keep your lines down. And if you see something, you gotta act on it. You gotta try to keep it going. So let's keep going. Got him. It's a pretty decently heavy fish too. Gonna be. That glow spoon's doing the trick. Oh, oh, stinky white fish. All right, 14 inch tulipy. We're gonna let her go. White fish, baby. Ugh, those fish smell. The glow on this is wearing out pretty quick, so I might have to uh, throw a different glow stick in it here in a little bit. All right, we're switching it up. This is blue glow. The uh, jig that I've been using, the red's really dying down, but this is blue glow. As you can see, try to hide as much of the light, boom. Nicer fish. Feel good about this hook set though. She's rolling. She's rolling.
definitely a little bit heavier fish. Listen to that. Oh, back down to the bottom. Gave up, got tired. Ooh, doesn't want to come up the hole though. Fat burbot. Another burb, another burble. Right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect hookup. Look at this guy. Just a ball of muscle. Look at this. These things are fun. They fight so awesome. They're fun to reel in. Let's get a measure on it. We're gonna call it a 22 and a half inch burbot. The glow is even working on these snakes. Woo-wee! Awesome fish. All right, we'll let you go. See you later. Just like that. Back down. See down the live scope, straight to the bottom. Boom. And there it is, coming off the bottom. That's that burbot that just went down. I took the blue out and put red in it. I had like no bites with the blue in it. Oh, it's got it. Here I am swapping out the water in my minnow bucket. And I've got a fish on back here. Just struck this guy. It's pulling. <laughs> you hear that? Look at that, another one. Another one bites the dust. 25 incher. Gonna let her go, see you another day. You can see that tail just whipping. This is what that last tuna bee was doing. Another one. Okay, calm down, lady. Here it is. 16 inch tuna bee. All right, it's just after 11 p.m. The bite has totally died down. I'm gonna get my set lines down for the night. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. Check out this other video on the screen, and until next time, take it easy.